Uh, we are on the bus to go to the subway station. Uh, we're in the city of Incheon at the moment, and uh, I'm joined here with my girlfriend. Hi, Summer. Um, <laughs> she's actually studying for a super big test, and I'm dragging her along with me. Anyway, um, we're gonna hop the subway that goes into Seoul. So it'll take about an hour, and uh, for this vlog, we're just gonna kind of just uh, go around uh, Seoul and hang out and eat some food and check out some kampla. And I'm gonna try to redeem myself at the unfortunate mishap of my lens situation. Uh, that was uh, my last shopping in Seoul video. So uh, we'll try to oh, we'll try to hit those hit those shops again. So um, just stay tuned. <laughs> okay, we are back where we started and uh, there is a huge drove of people heading the house out of this subway station. But anyway, um, the first place we're gonna hit up again is gonna be the Technomart. And inside Technomart, there is a place called uh, Joy Hobby. And uh, and basically, it's a hobby shop where they have pretty much everything. If you've seen my past video, you could probably uh, um, you know, check out some of the stuff that we have there. We're not gonna spend too much time because we've already hit this place up before. Um, but I wanna do, um, I want to do a bit of like a comparison video where I, uh, you know, tell you about the prices and give you a little bit more detail as far as um, as far as the pricing and uh, <laughs> my girlfriend <laughs> bombing my video. But um, yeah, give you a, a bit of a bit more detail and information based on more objective uh, standards. So we're gonna head in there. And uh, we'll see uh, what we find there, okay? Bye. And we are back at Technomart. Um, if you head, uh, if you get off at Shindorim Station and uh, head towards exit number three and four, there's an underground, uh, like, I guess, passageway that goes directly into Technomart where you don't have to, like, you know, go up any stairs or go out of the subway station because uh, it's just directly connected to the subway station. So, yeah, and then you're going to want to get up to the third floor of Technomart. Okay? Okay, we are back for take two of Joy Hobby. And, uh, as you can tell, I'm surrounded by the likes of Trumpeter products, um, Hasegawa kits, and uh, some Academy uh, scale models and stuff. But uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of cool stuff. Um, I'm not going to go too in-depth into here. I'm, I'll probably just cover the Dunpla and stuff like that because uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there was a bit of eye strain that was going on from the footage from last time. But this time, I promise I have the correct lens, so we're good to go. No more uh, fisheye nonsense.
I'm not going to be, again, um, going too in depth of, uh, you know, showing you guys this place because we already did that in the last video. So um, we're just going to go straight to uh, comparing, uh, comparing maybe a sample size of maybe five kits just so we can kind of, um, you know, get a, a diverse uh, sample of uh, prices and uh, comparisons of different grades and, and prices as far as uh, gun plug kits go. So uh, let's just uh, pick out some kits and uh, we'll, uh, we'll get to comparing them, okay? Now, in the interest of making sure that we can actually have a good comparison, we need to have a sample that's available at all the uh, shops that we're gonna hit. So we need to choose kits that are, I know are probably gonna be available at um, all the stores. So I'm gonna choose some kits that I'm pretty sure that all the kits all the places are going to be having. So uh, the first kit that I'm going to choose to compare is probably the HDUC Shinandu, okay? Um, the price of this kit retails for 2,600 yen and it's exactly 26,000 won. So pretty much a one-to-one -one, uh, ratio as far as uh, the price of this kit goes. Hopefully uh, all the other other shops that we go to will have this uh, kit and uh, we'll keep going. The next kit that I want to compare is probably a newer kit. Um, so here we have the uh, the Origins Zaku 2, uh, Char's uh, Zaku 2 and the, this price is 1,700 yen right down there. Um, and here at this shop they are selling it for 22,000 yen. So this kit is not actually a one-to-one -one ratio um, from yen to Korean won. Um, this is actually a little bit more expensive. So, um, yeah, interesting. Uh, let's see how the other shops compare to this kit. All right, so let's take a, an RG for our sample size. Let's um, compare the, since we're doing HG Sinandu, we might as well do the high grade, uh, the RG as well. So um, here we have the real grade. Um, this is a fairly new kit as well. Um, this price being 3,800 yen, and they're selling it for exactly 38,000 yen. So this is another kit that is actually, um, you know, a one-to-one -one ratio. So it's it's weird that the Origin Zaku is actually a lot more expensive. Um, it's really out of uh, you know out of their their practices. I mean, for example, if we if we look here. The Strike Freedom, the RG Strike Freedom is 2,500, and the price is 25,000. So, um, yeah, it's just, you know, it's funky that some of the kids are a little bit more expensive, but um, I don't know. Same thing with this uh, RG Shar Zucker, 2,500, 25,000. So, um, so, yeah, I mean, most of, I think most of the kids are gonna be one, one to one from yen to Korean one, but uh, I don't know. We'll see uh, what the other shops look like. All right, since uh, we're just gonna continue on with the Master Grades, let's compare the Master Grade Shinanjo, which I'm pretty sure most of uh, stores will have. Anyway, this price is 7,500 yen, and the price that they're selling it for is, again, one-to-one -one ratio, 75,000 Korean one, so. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I mean, one-to-one -one isn't bad. Um, I think there are shops that are a bit cheaper, but um, I don't know. We'll see We'll see what we can find next, okay? Okay, here we're gonna take a PG sample um, of the Perfect Grade Unicorn. Now, the retail for that is 20,000 uh, Japanese yen, but the price of it in Korean won is 200,000. So uh, again, exactly one to one. So um, I don't know, it's, uh, prices are fairly I mean, simple, I guess, as far as calculation. Um, if it's a one to one, you can kind of just, you know, uh, just compare over to Korean won if you uh, ever do happen to come to Korea. So, um, so that's our perfect grade. Okay, so that wraps it up for Joy Hobby here at the Techno Mart at uh, Shindorim Station. And uh, um, we're gonna go to hit some of the other stores and uh, 
compare the prices there. So um, stay tuned and uh, I guess we'll see you at the next location, okay? Bye. Welcome to the inside of a Korean supermarket. This place is called D-Mart. No, oh, there's like there's there's people set up like to give you like uh, samples and stuff. Um, you can even have samples of wine over there. She's uh, making some something and stuff. Pretty cool. Um, they sell like uh, side dishes, the Korean food. Yeah. So anyway, just a you know quick glimpse of. Uh, inside of a Korean shopping uh, supermarket looks like sell pizza and lots of other cool stuff so yeah This is super nice. This girl right here, she noticed that the, this old lady was carrying that heavy uh, pink, I don't know what you want to call that, satchel, whatever you want to call it, but uh, she was like, what egg, which number exit are you going to? And she offered to carry it for her to the exit for her. So cool. I mean, I've never seen something like this happen on the, on the road. I mean, I've, Finally, you see people get up to uh, give up their seats on the subway or the bus for the elderly, but look, she's taking that back now. <laughs> so cool. Alright guys, it is super hot out today, but uh, as you can see behind me, we are at Hong University subway station. Um, exit number three, okay? And uh, basically, if we head out up due north, uh, we'll hit a shop called Joy Hobby. And uh, it's one of the smaller shops uh, here in Hongdae, but uh, they've got a lot of, they got a lot of kits and stuff to look at as well. So I uh, want to check it out. I haven't been there in a couple years, so hopefully it's still there, but um, we'll go check it out, okay? So when you see the fur lady, make a left and you're going to make an immediate right. It's a little bit harder to find, this, this one, but right here at the uh, parking lot here, you're going to make a right and head into the basement, uh, which is where the shop is. So yeah, it's pretty funky. Neighbor hobby Korea. Here we are. I'm pretty sure this kit was uh, uh, featured on Gundam Guy blog. Um, this was an entry to uh, GBWC, I think, in 2015, I believe. It wasn't. It wasn't an entry from last year, but I think it was from 2015. But uh, yeah, really, really well made, I'd say. Uh, 
three holes in the kit with the uh, gun cannon versus the uh, Zaku. Really well weathered as well, but uh, yeah. But basically it's just this whole wall and that's about it. And then um, there's a couple of Brando kits up top, but it's typically mostly just scale models and stuff. So. Yeah. Now their collection of um, Gunpla is not actually that extensive. There's only maybe one wall devoted to gun kits. They used to have a little bit more, but uh, apparently this is all they got. So, um, I mean, they've got most of what people will typically be used looking for, but uh, the selection is not as extensive as some of the other shops, I'd say. Um, so it's always just organized from you know high grades and stuff to mass grades, and then of grades up top. Now compared to um, some of the other places, I would say that their uh, tools and uh, you know, accessories and stuff like that for actual modeling is uh, actually a lot more extensive than some of the other places. Um, they definitely have a lot more um, stuff as far as, uh, you know, products for, um, for uh, you know, doing modifications and custom work. But, uh, I mean, this is, uh, this is most of the stuff that's made in Korea. Um, Stylex and Academy products. I'm probably going to pick up a couple sanding sticks because uh, my 800 grits are pretty much done with and those are the bottles that I typically use for uh, mixing my paints but um, yeah these are typically the uh, you know, these are mostly like the Korean, uh, Korean stuff so We've got like uh, stuff for scale modeling, um, decals, and uh, you know, photo edge parts as well. So, cool. Um, yeah, stuff for dioramas and uh, you know, environments and stuff like that. That's all here. Um, so, if uh, if you're into scale models and stuff like that, I'd definitely check this place out because. Uh, They've got a lot of stuff here. <laughs> so the other side of this wall has the, the Korean made products and then on this side is all the imports. Um, so you've got your um, choices of like Minishima, um, all Minishima, <laughs> as well as uh, what else they got? Uh, some testers. They have some tester stuff here. Um, basically just tools, pin sets, files, and nippers, um, and they have their whole selection of old thought products as well. Um, so, yeah, um, pretty cool. 
clamps and some more photo edge parts and stuff and blue tech which I definitely need to get some of that so yeah they got a photo edge bender as well <laughs> so yeah and uh, those are the 3M uh, sanding sponges that I use for getting around corners and stuff like that but uh, yeah I mean I'd say the selection here is actually really really good and uh, on that side was the Minashiro stuff and uh, here we've got a whole slew of uh, Tamiya products. They've got pretty much everything Tamiya here. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure this stuff is a little bit cheaper than the actual Tamiya store um, that I uh, reviewed and showed you guys last time. But yeah, I mean, you name it, every single Tamiya uh, product you could, uh, you could even imagine. So. Yep, pretty cool. Um, here's a whole wall of like Kotobukiya products. Um, got some metal gear down there, and some armor core as well as you know, frame arms and uh, yeah, some other stuff um, got some figureized busts as well as some NSG uh, option parts as well um, not too much as far as Kodobuki goes but uh, I mean yeah I mean they've got a couple things here and there <laughs> Opposite of the Minishima wall, we have the uh, various photo edge parts that are for scale models and uh, you know ships and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, on the other side of it, uh, we have our slew of uh, uh, wave heavy option parts, mesh, uh, eyes, and camera lenses, and scope lenses, and what have you. 1144 scale uh, mobile worker staff. And, uh, you know, bolts, joints, you know, rivets, you name it. And here we have our uh, Kurobukia MSG option parts. So, um, yeah. <laughs> and then we have this, like, short sidewall of uh, some of the more expensive stuff like the Hasegawa tri-tools and Nazca brushes as well and I believe these are chisels um, so I might actually pick up that 1.6 millimeter wave chisel right there hopefully it's not too expensive but uh, I need a chisel because I uh, gotta sp start practicing doing some scribing and stuff so So anyway, basically, um, I was looking at the Gunpla kits, and they don't have uh, any any price tags on them. And pretty much, uh, I asked the I asked the worker, and I was like, "How much are the Gunpla kits?" And he basically said they're um, they're basically written in uh, in retail. So if that's uh, if that if that retail says six thousand, just add a zero, and that's Korean. That's the price in Korean uh, won. So um, I'd say the pricing here would pretty much be on par with the previous place that we were just at, so uh, that's pretty much it. Now if you live in Korea, I gotta say that there's one thing that this place definitely has going for it, which is paints. I'm talking Humbro, uh, you've got your uh, ML MIG uh, paints just, just everywhere, Vallejo. Acrylic metal colors, uh, just your normal uh, Vallejo colors. Um, then you have all of your airbrush Vallejo colors here, which are all acrylic based, obviously. And you have your whole slew of uh, guy notes. They're a little bit expensive here. They're uh, 3,200 for like the base colors, and then they go up a little bit. And price when it's like you know fluorescent or metallics and stuff like that but uh 
Um, but I mean, these are all imports, so what do you expect? But uh, yeah, I've got your whole slew of uh, um, Cayenne Oats thinners here as well. Then you have this, the IPP brand that I was talking about uh, before. But uh, yeah, um, this is probably the cheapest uh, kind of paints you could pick up. Because, uh, like for example, they have like a mobile suit red. And these come in 18 milliliter bottles. And uh, only 26, 2601. So they're pretty cheap for the price of a little more, almost double of these. You get uh, you get a you know paint that's you know maybe not exactly the same quality, but it's it's up to par, I'd say. It's not bad. So that's your whole slew of uh, IPP paints, as well as your special like uh, um, metallic colors that they have. Um, they're all in English, um, just not on the label here, but they're all in English on the actual paint colors. So um, yeah, so you have your IPPs. Um, then your whole wall devoted to your Mr. Howdy colors. So, um, so yeah, you got the, uh, um, you know, you got this whole bunch of uh, Mr. Howdy stuff. Oops. And uh, they got a pink guide for you here. But, um, yeah, I mean, basically every single color from one to 121, I guess. So <laughs> they carry they carry every every color, pretty much imaginable. These are all lacquers, obviously. Um, we've got your Mr. Mask Soul, and you know all your uh, tool cleaners and whatnot. Uh, yeah, they got it. And what else? Um, here are your Mr. Hobby can sprays, as well as your Tamiya acrylics here um, then you have your Mr. Hobby acrylics over here and some of these big bottles are Mr. Color Clear so yeah and then they got uh, your Tamiya enamel sprays and, um, and then some more uh, Tamiya enamels and stuff so I'd say just the paint wall itself is worth a, a good visit if you're, you know, living in Korea, uh, looking for paints and stuff. Uh, they even have uh, magazines. So anyway, um, that's gonna wrap it up for my uh, my time here at Neighbor Hobby. Um, the prices are one to one, so they're pretty much on par with uh, the last place that we were just at. So. Oh, testers, interesting. These have to be super expensive. I don't see a price tag on them, but yeah, testers. That's cool. But anyway, yeah. So, uh, oh, that's about it. I'll catch you guys later.